It's one of them. I didn't really. I heard you that, didn't but know I didn't really history. know why. Mm -hmm. Okay, why? Why should we free this guy? Like, you know? <laughs> but me was right. killing it though. Play your pimpin' name, plays, and if you miss Pimp C, throw up your deuces in your tray. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. And then he ended up coming out, um, I think, probably probably was only a few months after that when he actually got released. And so at that point, you know, there's a whole new generation of kids that are listening yeah. to this Texas music that are, you know, listening to Mike Jones, and they don't know the whole history no. of of uh, UGK that, you know, that, that the, the work that they put in to kind of lay that foundation. Mm. So but that, they knew because of Bun's campaign yeah. that he was coming home. They didn't, a lot of them knew because Bun well, was so hard for him. Yeah, MC, Free they, Pimp they didn't C really, was the campaign. Was, uh, UGK for life, free to pimp, you know the deal in PAT, you trap or die. Was one of them, I didn't really, I heard you that, but I didn't really history. know, why, mm. okay, why Why should we free this guy? Like, you know? <laughs> Bun B was right. killing it though. Play your pimp and name, plays and if you miss Pimp C, throw up your deuces in your trade. You like, did you talk to Bun before or during that time or you didn't talk to Bun, you just went straight to deal with Pimp C? Yeah, and it, we had uh, definitely interviewed Bun as well. Before um, that? Yeah. Okay. They had, I, I believe they both had so solo albums that came out, came out around they did. that time. So, yeah. you know, for, for a label, if you have a Southern artist that's coming out around this time, 2005, I mean, Ozone was the, the place to go. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, we had definitely done a lot of stuff with Bun, and um, and you spoke to his mom before you went and interviewed him in prison, or you spoke to his mom after? No, I had never met his mom until after he passed. Okay. Um, I, I, I mean, I always wanted to write a book. Like I was, I don't really want to publish a bunch of books, but I always thought, you know, hey, I should, I should do right a one. book yeah. on the right topic. And mm -hmm. um, so when he passed, I, I really was observing a lot of other things, and you know, the the level of sort of respect that, that Biggie gets and that Tupac gets um, being these hip hop legends who have passed away. And I felt like Pimp is not really getting right. Where were you at when he passed? I was in New York. And what did um, you think when you heard it that morning? I asked these kind of questions. Like well, when I you heard it that- I wrote about it in the book. Um, okay. I, I was doing a press run for, for Ozone. So I had done, uh, I think Wendy Williams and, and a couple other shows. And, okay. Um, I, I had texted him for some reason or called him and he didn't answer oh, like the night yeah. before. And so um, Wendy Day called me the next uh, the next morning. I always tell her um, she, or whenever she calls me now, she'll text me first and say nobody died. Because wow. <laughs> she, we, we, she's a, a legend in hip hop as well. Yeah, I don't know if yeah, you're familiar with yeah. Wendy Day, but it's kind of unusual for her to call me. You know, I mean, even today, usually you'll like text somebody first instead of mm -hmm. just calling out of the blue. But so I was just surprised to see her call me. I was at the airport and or heading to the airport and, and I just picked up the phone and she said, uh, did Pimp C really die? And, and I was, you didn't even and know I was anything like, about it. I don't it. think so. Why would he be, you know, why would he be, he dead? Um, and that's when, you know, started to call people. And when, once it became clear, it was like really, you know, that was really true. It was mm -hmm. kind of, it's kind of upsetting to me because a lot of people I knew were kind of like a lot of acquaintances were kind of calling me and they sounded like, it was like a new, you know, like this is actually somebody I considered a friend. And, yeah. You know, and, and for people to be kind of, I don't want to say excited, but they were like kind of like, oh, did you hear the news? Like it was, you know, just this. Same way they do today when somebody pass away, they start yeah. acting as if they, they already know how to act when somebody passed, especially a rapper. Yeah. This is sad. It's well, a pre I ended up just turning my phone off because yeah. I didn't want to, yeah. you know, it was just those conversations you didn't really want to have. And so I, I just remember feeling very um, like kind of, like deflated would be kind of right. the word yeah. for it because we had this great like kind of momentum going and and when he first got out of prison like he was on a real positive like let's get mm -hmm. all the south together let's do a tour like let's you know show love it to each other and it affected bun it mm -hmm. affected bobo it affected steve below who been on this show it affected mm -hmm. a lot of people it, it affected uh pimp and ken it, everybody i've talked to it affected he's a leo uh it even affected that 17 guy what i'm telling you is a lot of those guys, and you notice if you've been studying psychology, it, it takes a toll on you when you lose something, when you got a momentum, you went mm -hmm. through it yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it was like a dual, like I felt sad as, as considering him a friend, like somebody who lost, but, it, but also just looking at it from a, a journalistic standpoint and what we lost as a culture. Crazy. Mm -hmm. And um, I, even more so like when I started researching for the book and really understood like how, you know, T.I. and, and you know, the big timers and like all these, these people named him as like, that's the reason why, you know. We do. Man, it affected Jay Prince too. It affected everybody, yeah, everybody, man. So 
It was, it was definitely a big loss for, for the culture. And so Man, it affected me. I ain't gonna lie to you. It affected me when he was in prison. I'm a fan. So I'm, I'm steadily, I'm anticipating him getting out. And when he gets out, then this happened. It's like, dang, a double whammy, you know, mm -hmm. then I started thinking about he up there. He was too short. I knew they had, they had songs together. I follow all that. So mm -hmm. it was like, man, you know, it, it hurt. It hurt for us. But in the South, you know, like I said, we already had some, some high heels to climb I'll put it like that mm -hmm. because like I said without you there becomes a bigger hole in what's going on down here yeah we on boss talk 101, 101. yeah we gonna talk